So hello and welcome back to this series on making this big central workbench. In the last video we constructed the bench itself, so in this one we're going to populate it. That means making the rollout dustbin, building storage for handheld power tools and jigs, resolving the dust collection on the saw and also sorting out the wire and electronic cables. And so the first thing we're going to do is make that bin. I've already taken the measurements and I'm going to be using 18mm pine plywood. And then to switch to using the planer, all I have to do is wheel the bin out of the way and then swap the disc on. So now I've got just two metres of infeed, just over two metres of outfeed. But if I ever need any more, I can always lift up onto the workbench itself. And for storing jigs, the crosscut sled and the rip vent are the two accessories I use most often. So I want them to be really close by. I think this can simply rest against the workbench itself and still use the planer. But then for the rip vent, I think I can just cut some small blocks. These are offcuts from the workbench that can rest on. And so now the next task is going to be creating storage for the power tools in this area. So I've got them all lined up, and from this I can work out the maximum depth, height, and width we're going to need. 92, 60, 65. And I can use these measurements to work out the size of the components. Here. Hush, don't speak. When you speak, all them keep it strong. I hate it when you kiss I accuse your theories on fire I can't find no silver lines I don't mean to drown When you read your speeches time Enough is enough I'm covering my ears like a king When words mean nothing I go la 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 I'm turning off the volume when you speak can't stop, I'll find a way to block it I go la la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la
I won't count me, I would rather be a coward when I was told lie. Gonna drown you out before I lose my mind. So there you go, all the tools fit in there really nicely. And with the little gaps I've left at the top, I'm going to make some small drawers for things like drill bits and screws. Just be just tiny and confusing that. I'm covering my ears like a key. And your words mean nothing, I will not lie. I'm turning off the volume when you speak. So if my heart can't stop, I find a way to block it. I go la la, la la la. And then I've also made a whole load of dividers to organise these drawers. In this one, the back section is going to be for grinding discs, middle for cut off discs, and then the front for a whole load of jigsaw discs. The central one is going to be for an assortment of screws I've got laying around. Finally, the bin on the far right is going to be for all my different drill bits that I've currently got jumbled up in this tub. And so I've sorted all the drill bits out into their individual sizes, and so I can now start putting in the separate compartments they're going to fit into. And I can use these two three sides now to store totally homeless and And so now the things I need most often are really really easy to get to because they're right underneath where I'm working. And we're now going to sort out adding power to the work. And so I've just brought this six-way plug that I can screw onto the structure here. In the moonlight, dancing in the moonlight, everybody's feeling warm and bright. It's such a fine and natural sight, everybody was dancing in the moonlight. Now I can hook up all of these battery trackers. We like our fun, we never fight. We stay on tight, it's a supernatural delight. Everybody was dancing in the moonlight, dancing in the moonlight. And with the chargers installed, I think we have now finally finished. It's been a few days since I filmed that last series of shots. It's already clear to me just how much this has increased my efficiency and workflow. As well as delivering all the things I talked about at the start of the first video, proper outfeed support, correct height, storage for the planer and so on, I've also found it's made me use a lot more of the workshop. Whereas this whole area used to be a no man's land, it's now where I spend most of the time to operate the saw. And from here, I can go over to this side to get any sheet goods. And then on this side, I can use the workbench to do the assembly of the project. And also as a kind of bouncing board to go off and then machine it either on a mitre saw or on the pillar drill. And so I hope you've enjoyed watching both this video 
and the series as a whole. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until the next video, take care. You're fine and natural sight. Every morning was dancing in the moonlight. And I should also say before I go that I forgot to talk about dust collection. I've just used some scrap bits of plywood to block in any gaps on the saw. And that seems to be working really well so far at blocking the majority of the dust. Especially because now the majority of it can fall directly into the dustbin below.